formulate the following problem as a linear program. A company producing canned mixed fruit has a stock of 10,000 kilograms of pears, 12,000 kilograms of peaches and 8,000 kilograms of cherries. The company produces three fruit mixtures which it sells in one kilogram cans. The first mixture is half pears and half peaches and sells for $1.20. The second mixture has equal amounts of the three fruits and sells for $1.70. The third mixture is three quarters peaches and one quarter cherries and sells for $2.10. How many cans of each mixture should be produced to maximise the return on the current stock? Well first let's actually figure out exactly what the question is asking us to do. It says formulate the following problem as a linear program. Now it says formulate and not solve so it just means we have to write down the maths that goes with this problem. We translate it into maths. And we have to formulate it as a linear program. So a linear program, that would be when you've got like a function that you want to maximise or minimise, and then some equations or inequalities involving some variables to be the constraints. And the answer would be something like maximise or minimise the function subject to the constraints. And that's what the answer would look like if we're formulating as a linear program. After that you'd actually continue to solve it, but we haven't been asked to solve it, just to formulate it. So now we know what we're supposed to do. We know we're going to have to write down some formulas uh, involving some variables. So we should figure out what our variables are first. There should be a sentence in here somewhere that says what my variables are. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, here it says how many cans of each mixture. Since this problem is finding how many cans of each mixture, that means that I should make my variables the number of cans of each mixture because I actually went through to solve the whole problem, then I would just have the answer. So let me define how many cans I have for each mix. So let x, let's call it XPP because it's for the mixture that's got both the pears and the peaches in it. Be the number of cans produced with mixture one. Let X PPC since it's got pears and peaches and cherries be the number of cans produced with mixture two and let X PC because it's just peaches and cherries be the number of cans produced with mixture 3. I could have used x1, x2 and x3 but I like to write my variables in a way that helps to remind me what they actually stand for. Right now I have my variables. The next thing would be to find formulas involving those variables that describe everything in the problem. So let me go back to the actual problem and start reading through it and write down those formulas if I can. So a company producing canned mixed fruit has a stock of 10,000 kilograms of pears, 12,000 kilograms of peaches and 8,000 kilograms of cherries. Well, none of those actually involve my variables, which is the number of cans. It's actually the number of kilograms of peaches and pears and cherries. So I can't use that yet. So let's uh, try the next one. The company produces three fruit mixtures which it sells in one kilogram cans. Again, um, I haven't got any more information there. So how about I try the next sentence. The first mixture is half pears 
and half peaches. So I could figure out how many kilograms of pears and peaches I get from those cans and that would help me to figure out where this 10,000 kilograms and 12,000 kilograms and 8,000 kilograms come in. So I reckon that's what I'll do next. So I'll need a new page for that because I've run out of space. One can of mixture one has half a kilogram of pears and half a kilogram of peaches. That's exactly what that information in the question told me. So XPP cans of mixture 1 has half of XPP kilograms of pears and half of XPP kilograms of peaches. That's good. Put it there for there. All right. So what about mixture two? Mixture two was equal amounts of the three fruits, so a third of each. So one can of mixture two has a third kilograms of pears, a third kilograms of peaches, and a third kilograms of cherries. So therefore XPPC cans of mixture 2 have a third times XPPC kilograms of pears, a third of XPPC kilograms of peaches, and a third XPPC kilograms of cherries. Okay, and I suppose we can do for the other mixture as well. So the other mixture is three quarters peaches and one quarter cherries. So one can of mixture three has three quarters of a kilogram of peaches and one quarter kilograms of cherries. So therefore XPC cans of mixture 3 have 3 quarters of XPC kilograms of peaches and 1 quarter XPC kilograms of cherries. Okay, that's good. Now how does this actually help us? We still haven't got any inequalities, but let's go back to our original problem and think about it. A company producing canned mixed fruit has a stock of 10,000 kilograms of pears. Well, I actually know in total how many pears I've got. Look, look, I've got this many pears from all the cans with mixture one. I've got this many kilograms of pears from all cans from, of mixture two 
and no pairs from all the cans with mixture 3. So I actually know the total number of kilograms of pairs. I can write that down and say it's less than or equal to 10,000 and suddenly I will have an inequality. And I should be able to do that with the peaches and with the cherries as well. Let me highlight the peaches. I've got this many kilograms of peaches from the first type of can, this many kilograms of peaches from the second type of can, and this many kilograms of peaches from the third type of can. And with the cherries, I've got this many kilograms of cherries here, and this many kilograms of cherries here. So let me write down all my inequalities now. I have half of XPP kilograms of pairs and a third of XPPC kilograms of pairs. So total kilograms of pairs is a half of XPP plus a third of XPPC which is less than or equal to 10,000. All right, next we want the total kilograms of peaches, which would be equal to half of XPP, a third of XPPC, and three quarters of XPC. Half of XPP plus a third of XPPC plus three quarters of XPC which is less than or equal to 12,000. And the total number of kilograms of cherries is equal to a third of PPC and a quarter of PC. A third of XPPC plus a quarter of XPC, and that's less than or equal to 8,000. Now all I need is actually a function to maximise. So for that, let's go back to the original problem. Hmm. Well, there's some prices here that we haven't used yet. Here, here and here. So they must come into it. Let's just see if we can find any for more information. How many cans of each mixer should be produced to maximise the return? Okay, so the return would be the amount of money I get from all of the cans. So I suppose I'd get a dollar twenty from each of the first type of can, a dollar seventy from each of the second type of can, and two dollars ten from each of the third type of can. So I can write that down. Total return equals dollar twenty of first type of can plus a dollar seventy of the second type of can plus two dollars ten of the third type of can. That's my total return and that's the function I would need to maximize. So my final answer is almost done. I now just need to write down what the linear program is because that's what the original question asked me to do. So I might do that on a new page. So the linear program is maximize the function, let's call it R for return, which was equal to 1.20 XPP plus 1.70 XPPC plus 2.10 XPC subject to a half of XPP plus a third of XPPC is less than or equal to 10,000. A half of XPP plus a third of XPPC plus three quarters of XPC is less than or equal to 12,000. And 
a third of x p p c plus a quarter of x p c is less than or equal to 8000. Now is there anything missing? Oh, I should say that all the x's are supposed to be greater than or equal to zero because that's always part of a linear program as well. And x p p x p p c and x p c are greater than or equal to zero. I've formulated as a linear program, so that's the end of the problem.